I'm Brett William Johnson, uh, Command Sergeant Major for the 3rd Ranger Battalion. I've been here for 19 years. So probably m the most significant time I've had an in, 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 in interaction with one of our snipers uh, that would be worthy enough to, to tell the story. There's been a bunch, but this one's probably the most significant. We were, it was 2006, I was a Staff Sergeant in, a, in the 1st Ranger Battalion, and we were going after a high-value target in eastern, in eastern Iraq. Uh, as we showed up to the target, uh, we, we came in and started walking in, and and one of the other squad leaders said, hey, I can see the guys, they're all walking around and they have guns. So as we moved up to the target, they, they, one of the sentries identified uh, the other squad leader on the target on the eastern side of the objective and, and started to engage at us. Uh, as our assault force started to engage the enemy, we, we rapidly moved up, my, my squad, and right as we were about to break the, uh, the corner of the building, a guy, unbeknownst to us, was was literally coming around the corner with an AK-47. It was about would have taken out me, uh, my t and both of my team leaders at the time. Uh, our our sniper was was postured in a perfect position. Didn't have enough time to tell us it was happening because you know things happen so fast in a in a firefight. As we, as we broke the corner, he took the most perfect, well aimed shot, and uh, and put him down as we broke the corner. As we could continue to and go go and uh, engage the rest of the to the guys. The, the year was 2006 when all this went, happened uh, and things were pretty dynamic in Iraq in, in, in 2006, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10. Uh, things like that happen on a, on, a, on a nightly basis over there. Now you, you, you tell them thanks, give them a little fist bump and hey, but you got to concentrate on the next on the next target. You know, that was last night, you know, the next night's a new, new target, so you got to get back out there and get your game face on because every night's different. I, I don't know that if I have a tally in my head of how many times they've saved my life, but it's, uh, I'm sure my wife is pretty thankful for them as well. So the significance of a sniper at the command perspective is just another tool in our kit bag, right? We have multiple assets within our organization, and, you know, when, when a sniper is used properly, you can get some phenomenal information in, uh, about the target that you're looking at and, and how they, they support a maneuver element as they're moving up and then take those critical shots within feet, uh, like, like I just explained, uh, that are, that'll save lives. So the, their, their critical role on the battlefield to observe and report and then take the most critical shot when needed is, is, uh, is a skill that can't perish, right? The, and it goes back to rehearsals and planning and, and continue to refine their skills. You know, they're some of the most patient people I've ever met in my life. Uh, I'm not a very patient person, so I could have never been a, a, a very good sniper, but uh, their, their ability to, to see the battlefield, to see what's next, to observe, report, and then to take that critical shot is pretty impressive.